Welcome to Prime Cuts, choice racing action from America's grassroots racetracks. Today, we're at Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway in Bakersfield, California. It's opening night and the series debut of the Z-Max Cars Tour West Series, courtesy of Speed Sport affiliate, Low Budget TV. The debut race for the Z-Max Cars Tour West Fueled by El Bandito, Yankee Tequila, starting on the pole, the number 92 of Dylan Zampa. Outside of him, the number 13 is Sean Hingarani. For number two, gives us the 87 of Seth Wise and the 15, piloted by Landon Lewis. Now is the time where these drivers are filling it out, tightening those belts, making sure that that helmet's strapped on tight, because Tommy, you got 50 laps to really fill it out, and then you're going to have 50 laps to go. And what's interesting is when these drivers get to that halfway break, they better have 50 laps of good notes for their crew. Because it's only adjustments. There's no floor jacks going out on that track. Only adjustments that's going to be going to these race cars. It can be won, and it can be lost by the driver not reporting what he or she needs. Also, of course, track position is key here at Kern. We're going to see them start down low and then work to the second groove. We're going to see fast drivers moving forward and maybe forward drivers sliding back. But it is time. The lights are out above the Haddad Dodge Pace car. Are you ready to write a name into history books? I'm ready. The big question, the drivers are ready. Are you fans here at Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway ready to go for 100 laps of Cars Tour West? Oh, yeah. It'll be Dylan Zampa and Sean Hingarani on row number one. Zampa has chosen the outside starting spot on the front row. He was our fast time and first pole sitter of the series. And the cars are bunching up. Tim's going to pull that pace car off. And it is time to go racing. Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway, the Z-Max Cars Tour West are green. They race down into turn one, side by side for the lead, down the back straightaway. Who's going to lead lap number one? They're leaning on each other. Just leaning some more. It's Hingarani on the inside. Zampa leads number one. Hanging on the outside of row number two is Landon Lewis. Clearing for the lead is Dylan Zampa. Seth Wise takes a third spot. Derek Thorne throws it oh, in yeah, at turn does. number three. Big time. That El Bandito Yankee Tequila. Sponsor number eight. Sliding right in there. I don't think these drivers are going to race this like it's 100 laps. No. Doesn't seem that way. Great start. Nice and clean so far. Battle is for fifth. You see the 50 of Philpott now to the inside of the 15 of Landon Lewis. And Philpott will have a know the head at the line. Seth Wise in the third spot. In his mirror is Derek Thorne, but the battle we're watching is down the back straightaway. The blue 51, Lenny White, the 2023 Spears Pro Late Model Series champion. <laughs> leaning on the rear bumper, the 15 of Lewis. So Lewis is going backwards. That might be a long game that they're playing. Lewis, one of the fun up-and-comers right now to keep an eye on. He's been starting to dip his toes in the National Series of NASCAR. But we still love seeing him in these late models or super lates whenever we get a chance. He's battling to the outside. Lenny White trying to make some hay on the inside. Now how about making hay a little bit further up? We'll stay on this battle, but Derek Thorne's starting to tease it to the outside of Seth Wise for the third position. He's looking up there. Derek Thorne now. Oh, contact. Making contact. Now the Lenny White just got by Lewis. It was just a tap out of turn number two, but it's more than I expected on lap number six. Philpott with a great 50 car here, it seems. The short track ace out at Stockton 99 Speedway showing his muscle here on the half mile. 
Now, are you surprised at all to see... Now, we know Derek Thorne, right? A veteran racer. He has won some massive shows across the country. Um, maybe one of the talent, most talented drivers we've ever had on the West Coast. Are you surprised to be seeing him using the bumper here this early on? Part of me says yes, because he seems like one of those drivers who doesn't even need to use the bumper. You just got to... You know, you'll expect him up front at the end. But with how stacked this field is, Jeffrey, I'm not surprised. Maybe that's what he needs. <laughs> Just getting back in the groove. Out of for a second, starting to brew the eight of Derek Thorne, closing in on the black 13 of Sean Hingarani. Team cars, second and third in this race, led by the 92 of Dylan Zampa. I asked uh, Derek, I'm like, okay, so you got some protégés in this race. Does that mean you know all their tricks? And he's like, well, maybe I'm going to have to teach them a little bit more here today. <laughs> but Derek, he's racing hard with Hingarani there. Zampa is continuing to lead this one, has led it from the beginning. And they're going to be closing up on our first bit of lap traffic here in the race. It's going to be Caden Cordova in the 37. Your leader's going to have to work around that. We stay green long enough, we're going to see some more lap traffic here. As Zampa dips to the inside, not the greatest exit. That's going to allow Hingarani maybe to close in a bit here into turn number one. Cordova was right there at the worst time for your elite pack, right at the exit of the corner, and that did slow down just a bit. Jeffrey, does it look like this top three race... Do you think they're racing like it's a 50 lap before a break? I think the top three are right now, but <laughs> I'm looking at the, maybe just behind them, the battle for fourth that's taking place. Lenny White's been yeah. making up a lot of ground here early on. Working to the inside, the 51W, black and blue. Seth, why is he, they, they baited me. <laughs> I said, what's going on? And they're like, we're not that great. And then he goes and dang near takes the pole here today and running up front. So this is the battle for fourth. Lap number 18, racing to 50 until we have our break. And, and just kind of observing how these cars are handling, some of which passing that lapped Cordova machine. And it's, you know, th these drivers are having to, to wheel and deal. Some of these cars have a handful. I want to see the battles going into turns number one and two. 55 versus 54. They're going down the back straightaway now. And there they are. So that's the 54 of Joey East work on the inside of Andrew Chapman. I want to take a look at what Derek Thorne's doing back in the top three right now. Ooh, in fact, yeah. he's going to do a crossover. <laughs> he ran a lane higher than Sean Hingarani did through the entirety of turns three and four. And look what he did here, but... Sean's going to say, I'm bringing it right back to you, Derek. The fun about Kevin Harvick's current raceway is it's a nice, wide, banked corner. Like you see, Thorne going to go way up high, gets that momentum. And again, these pro late model style race cars, it's all about momentum on this high banked racetrack. You sniff that throttle just a little bit when you don't want to. Here comes Lenny White. But Derek Thorne, as we watch this battle, is starting to maybe show us that there is more of a lane as... They're getting close there for the battle for third. Is he showing us that maybe there is that potential second so. or third lane that just nobody really utilizes here? He put the right sides over the striped line, so I think there is a third groove growing. Well, that, you know, we've seen the evolution of racetracks. We've seen where they go from running down low to somebody figures out that there's a higher lane. And Derek might be showing us that that middle groove might be a strong one to gain that momentum and work a pass. But before he does that, he's going to have to catch Dylan Zampa. We are a quarter of the way through the race right now. Lap number 25 is on the board, so we have 75 to go. That's 25 until our break. So just halfway through our first segment. Field single file for the most part. There is a battle brewing again into turns number one and two. And it'll be the 54 of East and the 50 of Huddleston. They go down the back straightaway now. And Henry's got a shot of them coming into the corner into turns number three and four. So Huddleston just trying to kind of 
stop the bleeding, it seems here. He's trying to maintain his position, not lose any more spots, at least before the break. They will have an opportunity to do some changes. Nothing major at that break. But sometimes bring your wrenches, and that's all you can bring. The tire pressures maybe could go a long way. At least that's what you hope <laughs> if you're falling back. So Landon Lewis, you want to talk about going backwards. Landon Lewis looks like he settled in for eighth currently. The battle that we're watching is for 11th. The 54 and the 50. East on the inside. Huddleston work on the high. What do you got there, Jeff? Battle for a second down the front straightaway. Lenny White is the one on a charge here into turn number one. He's to the inside of the eight of Derek Thorne, and that is a battle for second. And they are closing in on the 17C of Chris Dalton to go a lap down. And behind them, Malone and Hingarani are going at it. All kinds of battles here. Yeah, so two great battles inside of the top five. Zampa's closing in on his next car to lap, and that is going to be the 17 of Chris Dalton. Some of these cars, I'm watching them work off of turn number two, and they are sideways. And Lenny White looks like down the front straightaway, he's going to clear Derek Thorne for second. Lenny White on the move. We've seen him move up from his starting spot, and he's got one more car left. I don't know if Justin Philpott's going to have a right rear by the end of this race. If he's going back into a turn little bit. three. Yeah, he coming out of turn number four right now. There they are. He is on the outside. This number 50. Let's see if he does it again. Out of turn two, he has been sliding the right rear, probably putting marks down, and now he's on the outside of Landon Lewis. Oh, Landon got loose there out of turn two. <laughs> That's a treacherous spot on this race It track. is, and they talk about how the banking is still steep right there and if your car is starting to wiggle not only do you have to chase this slide but also you have to fight against that banking because it's a it's a very steep back straightaway of banking you do not want to do the swat and flies down the back straightaway remember the uh, first winter showdown that they had here and huge wreck took yes. place on the back straightaway there a bunch of super late models got torn up we've learned since then yeah. be careful back there <laughs> Lenny White closing in on Zampa, the 92 up front. Yep, this is a battle for the lead. Coming out of turn number four, the number 92. There they are. So this is just starting to brew up. Lenny White has caught Dylan Zampa. Zampa had a big year last year, getting himself some super late model wins with the uh, Southwest Tour. And now he's eyeing a possible championship, it looks like, here. It's, oh, man, I'm telling you. Really I'm getting good. ready to call a caution with Phil Pott. <laughs> <laughs> he is so sideways. He tried making a move on the inside of Seth Wise just a lap ago. It, it wasn't going to happen. And, of course, they do this once we go to the leaders. And then Lenny White's like, oh, I'll chill for a second. So it's all calm, you see, for the most part of the track up high. It's this group. It's the group coming out of turn four now. That's oh, the wild bunch. Oh, man. And yeah, maybe we should just... Lenny White, you didn't make your move. We're going to go watch this battle in the uh, in the back. We're watching it now. So you you talk about the big pack that we're watching. Yeah. I will report on Lenny White when I get a moment. <laughs> so Phil Pot, again, that number 50, he has been wild. Let me guess. Lenny White's making a move for the lead right now. Yes, he is. He just now took a look to the inside. Sarah's loving this. Turns number one and two. Lead battle. There, there they are. And lead change. Lenny White is up to the front, making it look easy out here tonight. Lenny White to the lead. So Lenny, he didn't uh, have the most impressive qualifying run. Granted, you know, unless you get the pole, it's not the most impressive, right? But for him, he just driven through this field. And uh, right now, 22 cars still on the lead lap. It has been clean so far. We're getting to lap number 40, 10 laps until our break. And uh, most of the cars are going to be on the lead lap still. Dominic Lopez is going to try and stay on the lead lap. He's got uh, about 10, 15 car lengths to, uh, ahead of your leaders before he goes one lap down. See this battle here with Phil Pot. Landon Lewis, they've been together a lot. Jeffrey Peterson in that mix in the Black 51. Cody Kimley's number 48. Leading that group is the 87 of Seth Wise. Seems like Seth's struggling just a little bit. 
with speed. Philpot's struggling with handling. And uh, Lewis just wants them both to get out of the way. Seth Wise gets the bumper from Philpot. That'll help Lewis, potentially, if they run it clean into one and two. It's still a short track, even though it's a big short track. Well, that was a moment. That was a moment. Thankfully, everybody had quick hands there behind the wheels of their pro late models. Lewis's car just doesn't want to handle on the inside. He's multiple times gotten to the inside of Philpot, but it just, Oh, trouble. Turn number four. The 17 has gone around. Everyone's going to woe it up. And lap number 43 will be our first yellow in series history. Did he get help or did he just... Coming out of turn four. Uh, he blew the tires off of it. Smoking it up out of turn number four and spinning around. So it'll be seven laps to the break. They are doubled up. Looks like we'll get the one to go next time by. And it will be a seven lap shootout between Dylan Zampa and Lenny White. Now, we, we've we seen a lot of these drivers. Yes. We've gotten to know them. We know, again, Lenny White being up front, that's not a surprise. Dylan Zampa being up front in these cars, not a surprise. Um, I wouldn't really say there's necessarily surprises, but I feel like someone like Derek Thorne can be, like, the mystery machine in all this. Mm -hmm. He hasn't yeah. been racing, you know, these pro-late model cars, yeah. at least out here with us, very often. And, and so he might be the guy who he could have an ace up his sleeve. We've already seen a little bit of it when he was willing to work a lane that nobody else was using except because they were being passed. So keep an eye on that number eight. And he's kind of trapped a little bit outside road two. Lenny White, we see the muscle he's got. He's presented that to us all. Zampo will restart on the inside of that front row. Parker Malone's been on the charge, too. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out. It'll be a seven-lap shootout to the break. The outside fires beautifully. The inside, not so much. Yeah, Seth Wise, though, struggled. Third car back, and it's Derek Thorne who had a great restart. Lenny White's going to clear for the lead, but Thorne's going to take it to second place above Zampa. Seth Wise struggled as the third car in line on the outside. and just did not get it going. Well, now we got the battle of the heavyweights up front. Derek Thorne in the second spot in the eight. And Lenny White, a pro late model champion, up in the front. Some side-by-side -side battling. Taking place out of turn number four here. Phil Pot to the inside of Wise. Remember Wise was running up there in the top three. Oh, Derek Thorne just got very sideways out of turn number two. And that's going to allow Zampa to the inside into turn number three. How about that? <laughs> that looked good. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Henry flying over in the corner and Sarah with that shot into one. So Zampa putting the heat to Derek Thorne. And Parker Malone, again, he's right in the shadows, right in the wake. I think your Malone call was a, a pretty yeah. good one there. Now look, Malone trying that outside line as well. Are these drivers picking up something from Derek Thorne? He's like, ah, maybe this is working. Oh, trouble in the turn number one, one and two. Seth Wise goes around in the 87 in front of the field. Ooh, everybody picking the correct lane oh, on that one. That was a nail biter for Seth Wise, and it might have been. Taking a look at some of our cars here. I know that uh, Philpot was in the area. I don't know if he was had anything to do with how it got started, but... Saw two cars, looked like two white cars sideways. The 87 ended up being the one that went around. So a bad restart turns into an even worse couple of laps. And what do we got here? Going into turn one and the lines. Definitely. Match. Definitely Philpot. Into turn number one. We're going to slow it down. Right at the bottom of your screen. Now going to the center. 87 came down. The 50 was there. Philpot making contact with the left rear quarter panel. 
however you call it, the 87 is around. That's that's the answer. And it will be Lenny White who is our leader in control, but now he's got to deal with a new second place car on the inside, and that is Derek Thorne in the number eight. Row number two filled up with Zampa and Malone, Hingarani and Philpot round up round, or that will be row number three. As we watch for the flag for the restart, a shootout to the halfway break. We are green and a bit of a stack up there at the line. That time it was Lewis who struggled to get going a little bit further back on the inside line. And it's Derek Thorne making the move. He's trying to clear. I don't think it's done between Derek no. Thorne and Lenny <laughs> White. Here comes out of four, new leader. Derek Thorne at the line. Side by side for third, Zampa and Malone. Philpot, who has been sideways this entire race is up to fifth. He's holding on to that 50 machine, and it's holding on with him, it seems, for now. Are you telling me that Luce is fast and on the edge of out of control? Well, Luce is fast until you go 20 laps into a green flag run, and we saw what happened when that did. So it's got the fire off, but uh, it seems to be a struggle. Well, it's going to be a battle here for the third position. Thorne looks like he's going to come out of the final two corners and cross the line for lap number 50. Ooh, but Lenny White's taking a look to the inside. Never call it too soon, right? <laughs> Lenny we got, White. We got the shot up high with Sarah, but we also got the shot up higher with Henry on the drone. Look at this side by side down the back straightaway. He's trying to get him here. Can he get him? Ooh. Lenny White on that inside line. They were sliding and leaning. Yellow. Photo finish. We're going to have to go to our speed shop. Well, we're on it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we made it to the lap 50 break. Derek Thorne is the leader. A little change up. Yeah. Uh, Lenny White second. Parker Malone in the third position. Dylan Zampa fourth. Justin Philpot in fifth. Dude, we are down here live on scene waiting for the crews to come. Dude, Derek Thorne, man. The king plays to a full house here. What are you thinking tonight, buddy? I feel like the bottom of this car is, uh, I'm not here for a long time, but I'm here for a good time. She fires off like a rocket ship, but uh, falls off pretty hard on us. So we're going to go to work right here. I uh, just can't thank all you guys enough for coming out and supporting us, having a good time. All right, there he is, man. One of the biggest masters in a, in a full-bodied stock car here on a short track. How about that, Mr. Lenny White over here, digging, taking the lead. I think he's kind of testing where he's at. Lenny, what do you think here, buddy? I, I, We're going to come back at Lenny. He's working on it. <laughs> How about over here? Park him alone, dude. What do you think, man? I got a f***ing hot oh, I got a hot rod, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I got, I got a good Whoops. car right now. Uh, we were just saving. Car can run high. Can, car can run bottom. I feel really confident about uh, entering this next 50 laps. I feel really good. Well, it's pretty cool to watch these two guys go to work. You can take some lessons and then use them on them when it's time to do it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the catbird seat. Uh, I'm a little, maybe they get a little bit more of them physical, give me a freebie, but they're two great racers, some of the greatest that we have on the West Coast, so I wouldn't expect anything less. All right, great job. Holy cow, boys, that's some Cars Tour West racing right there, man. Thank you, Z-Max. Thank you so much. Holy cow, look at this. Zampa's out of here putting fuel in his own car, man. That's no surprise, no surprise. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, Zampa, man, you're putting fuel in your own car, huh? Yeah, you got it when you don't have that much crew here this weekend to help us. So, you know, I just just got to thank everybody that's that's helping me this weekend. Uh, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, Joe, um, and Jason Fensler. You know, we couldn't do without any of them, so... Fifty laps to go with Derek Thorne leading over Lenny White, Parker Malone, and Dylan Zampa. It's go time now. Here we go. The Hat at Dodge Pace car getting ready to peel off for 50 more laps in the inaugural Z-Max Cars Tour West Pro Late Model main event fueled by El Bandito Yankee Tequila. Through the gears nicely into turn number one. All right, the question going to be, how important is it to control the race? Is Lenny White going to push it? He does into turn number three. Dips it to the inside. The door is shut. 
He's still looking. Side by side, one and two. Pushing it down on that inside line. And we talked about how tough it is to try and complete a pass out of turn number two. He's going to get door to door with Derek Thorne here out of turn number four. Now, Derek's been okay on that outside line, carrying that momentum down the front straightaway. Watch this 51, though. That thing runs so good around the bottom side of the track. The eight, though, running great up on the outside. So Thorne with a great outside run. But you see Laney White inching forward just a touch out of turn number four. Yeah, Derek told us his car is great on short runs, not so much on long runs. So what will we see? How will it develop? What changes were they able to make that maybe helped with that? Or maybe he just wants to drive side by side for the league because that's what we're doing here at Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway. 53 laps into the race, side by side for the lead. Great. I mean, they have not left each other's hip since this restart. Oh, Thorne with a slide. And another car with a slide out of turn two, way out of the groove. It was the 27 of Chase Hand. Another car had an issue, is having an issue, I should say, is the 24 of Dominic Lopez. He is off the pace, down low into turn number one. Good work, Dom, for being respectful. As here comes Dylan Zampa, the orange 92. Battle is for second. Turns number three and four. A little pinching, (laughs) a little loving, and a little bit of squeezing. Hey, that's a short track racing that we love. Two talented drivers. Derek Thorne, Dylan Zampa. And we have a car that looks like it just spun out of turn number four. The 17. And I think, I don't know, he's getting back up to speed. But uh, Chris Dalton, not having the race that he's looking for so far. Dominic Lopez did make it into the pits. And uh, we'll, we'll check out later what took place with that 17 cars. Racing continues here. Seven laps after the break. 43 laps to go. They'll be closing in on Dalton 17 here within the next lap or two. And this could play into the lead battle. Dylan Zampo. A little bit of contact into turn one. Yeah, Jeffrey, where are you talking about? Uh, down the back straight away. We got some side-by-side battles now entering turn number three. The 48 of Cody Kimley was getting a, a little door knocking from the 54 of Joe E's. Behind them, Christian Bazin is battling hard with the number 51 on his inside. That's Brendan Ruzbarski. Seth Wise trying to regain positions after his issue earlier. Went for that spin after contact with Phil Pot. And just to tie the, uh, the ribbon on the present, the 17 of Chris Dalton does lose a lap. Yeah, he did a spin out of turn number four like you talked about. Single car, stayed down low, and now he's being graced by the oh, leaders. Oh, man, out of turn two. Seth Wise is trying to find somewhere to go around Ruzbarski, and it kind of stacked everyone up behind. Bazin playing a little defense in that 43 Spears machine. I think uh, I think Harvick would be familiar with that scheme. Oh, he knows that paint scheme very well, and they are just about on each other's fenders and quarters. There's a battle out of turn number four taking place, and that is a battle for third as Derek Thorne is now under pressure from Parker Malone in the 36. Going into turn three. You see the eight up on the outside. El Bandito ride, and he's got... Parker Malone in the 36 to his inside. It's a great looking car. That uh, I mean, there's a lot of good looking cars in this I field. love the shininess of the 36. I love the, the contrasting colors on the 8. You're right, Jeffrey. This ZMAX Cars Tour West Pro Late Model Series is nice, shiny here yeah. on opening night. Yeah. Now, if we scoop back just a little bit, take a look at the number 50 of Phil Pot, and just behind him, the side by side duel, Landon Lewis to the inside of Jeffrey Peterson in the 51. And they're, uh, they're battling it out right now for the eighth position. Talked about Phil Pot and his handling issues. Hopefully they were able to give him an adjustment that helped him out. 
And I'll tell you, Tommy, it's it's hard right now to look in one spot on this racetrack. There's so many places to look. They are going crazy out of turn number three. So I'm going to have Henry go and stay on that battle that he's watching. Sarah's watching a great battle here out of Oh, we got one four. side face. It was Rusbarski still trying to save it. And he does. Way up high in the dust he was. Now we're going to go back down the back straightaway with Sarah's. As we got the 250s and the 51 and the 15. Just a bunch of similar numbers racing in a pack. Wow. Huddleston came off the corner wide. Maybe not exactly to his liking. It allows Phil Pot to once again sneak on the inside. Now, a lot of the competitors around Phil Pot know that his car's been struggling on the loose side. So what do you do to a car that's loose and battle into your inside? You make sure that you don't give him the lane that he needs. Yeah, yeah, you just, I mean, yeah, maybe you're putting yourself at a little risk. Yeah, but, but sometimes that risk can help you get away. <laughs> sometimes that risk doesn't work out. Racing is risky, is that what you're telling me? Yes, that's wow. why we do it. That's why we like it sometimes. Oh, Phil Pot oh. gets into the bumper of Huddleston. <laughs> Gives him a nudge. The 50's going at it there. Two great battles happening within the vicinity of each other. 69 laps on the board, coming to 30 laps to go when the leaders cross the line. Phil Pot once again is going to dive it to the inside of Huddleston. Hard racing here. Racing for the sixth position. And remember, Jeffrey, when this track used to be single groove at the bottom, you'd have to paint the stripe down low yep. to make a fast lap around here. But this is great single and double file racing that we see. And sometimes a little squirrely out of the corners. A lot of these drivers trying to keep those low horsepower pro late models as wound up as they can. From a fan's perspective, the squirreliness just makes it that much more fun. Yeah. But we've got we've been seeing all night tonight some great side-by-side -side racing in their own grooves. Nice two-groove racetrack we got here. And Lewis touching the 51p <laughs> of Peterson there through uh, three and four. The, the riding on the right front of that 15 is gone. So this might not be the first time that's occurred. Just to let you know, Cordova losing a lap in the 37. Well, we talked about this oh, break. Phil Pot doors, Huddleston. This break is very important to get your car dialed in because anytime you make the pits from now on, you're struggling or likely out of the race. Yep, up front it has been Lenny White and pulling away. 1.3 seconds ahead of Dylan Zampa in second, Parker Malone in third, Derek Thorne fourth, and Sean Hingarani has gotten himself back into that top five as the 50s cannot <laughs> sort it out. They're trying, but they're not doing very good. They refuse. Peterson gets the bumper from Lewis into turn number one. I mean, these four cars right here are trying to figure out who's going to bring out the next caution. We showed you the up high shot that our drone was getting of the leaders. Nothing happening up there. It is a practice session for your leaders, but right here, it's anything but. Now, they're single file for the moment. Don't let that fool you. No. 25 laps to go. This has been an exciting 100 lapper here. Yeah. If we scoot back a little bit, just for a moment, there's a side-by-side -side duel happening in the middle of three and four. That's between Christian Bazin and Seth Wise, who gets sideways and <laughs> gets into Bazin. Sometimes Bazin and Wise give us the right <laughs> content at the perfect time. Right. That's a battle for 12th taking place just behind them. They got uh, McClinney, Kay McClinney, Kenneth Mitchell, Holly Clark. Bruce Barsky, they're kind of in the back half of the teens. Maintaining, learning, getting these cars under, uh, you know, all together, making them handle better and better. Why is there on the rear bumper giving the 43 a shot? Oh, the and there goes Basin around off of contact from Seth Wise. Seth knew better, and he did it anyways. And what did I do? <laughs> Stop the both of them. So, out of turn number two, Wise could have went down low, but no, he gave him a little bumper, and then we rode into turn three together. Is that a little bit maybe uh, just losing some patience? Could be. I mean, that's what, what's going on, I feel like, with these last 25 laps. Uh, you've got what you've got now, and you just are trying to make anything work. Sometimes you got to use the bumper. 
It's short track racing again. Feelings are going to get hurt, but at the same time, these two cars are able to drive away. As we get ready for the restart, 22 laps to go. And we're going to go three wide into turn one. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> it was Phil Pot who kind of got squeezed into the corner. Peterson, who got hit, and they're all keeping it straight. Ooh, more contact. And they held on. No oh, trouble. trouble turn number four. Chase hand goes around the 55 of Andrew Chapman for a spin. Doesn't look like any detrimental damage. All right, well, we've got a replay here on Track Vision TV. Take a look here. Caesar with a shot down in the corner. There's a couple of bumps, but this was the bigger one. Chase Hand going around. Chapman uh -huh. Cordova threading the needle. I want to. I want to see that again because I'm trying to see where Bazin got his damage because he's. Where's Bazin here? Peterson hitting Lewis and then coming into the corner. There. So Seth Wise goes to avoid and. Man, oh man. Well, I guess we're just getting near the end. I think we're, uh, I think we're there. Of a short track race. They hit the restart zone and everybody's clean. Zampa working the outside line. Can he take advantage of this over Lenny White? Thorne struggled off of turn two and allows Malone to his inside in the battle for third. Zampa's trying to keep his nose there. Now, remember, Zampa and White have a bit of a history. Yeah, and they're start continuing that right now. <laughs> Malone and Thorne are definitely trading paint right now. Doring each other through turns one and two. Ooh, now they're slideways. Lenny White will clear for the lead. It's Malone. Trying to battle to the inside of Derek Thorne's number eight. Inches apart from each other for that third spot. Huddleston's been on the rebound, especially since the break. He was at the back half of the top ten. He's now up to fifth. And looking at this battle, asking himself, where do I go? You, you might just have to sit and watch it a little bit. They are in his way. And the way that they're racing, the 50 and the 13, Huddleston and Hingarani. They're loving what they see as long as they keep it clean. Well, the day of lucky dogs, it looks like it's going to end. Chris Dalton's number 17 off the pace, and he's going to be pulling into the infield. Man, they are tight here. The side-by-side -side race and Joey East in that 54. Jeffrey Peterson. And the guy who's really starting to slip back is that 50 of Philpot. He's just behind this battle. The top two have started driving away, though. Yeah, yeah. They're going to continue on with their pace and speed. Derek Thorne, now under the gun from the 50 of Trevor Huddleston. And here comes Sean Ingarani with a peek to the inside. Throwing Landon Lewis to this battle, and you got ourselves a battle for fourth out of turn number four. Look at this. I mean, they are stacked up three rows of double file racing. Where do you go? How do you make a move at this point in the race with 15 to go? Thorne's car is struggling. He's going to get the bumper from Lewis. Hello, here's Landon Lewis. Another car off the pace, the 87 of Seth Wise, as they're going to try to make this work out of turn number four. Hingarani is going to be put in the middle of a three-wide turn number one. How this going to play out? Two turns one and two cleanly. Down the back straight away they go. Great side-by-side -side racing here. Kevin Harvick's Kern Raceway. Taking place in the battle for fifth. Oh, still three wide. Now it's Peterson's turn to the inside. Lewis in the middle. Thorne on the outside. The best part about this pack that we're watching, none of these cars are doing what these drivers want it to mm -mm. do. They are all a mess, and they're all trying to get out of their own mess. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully a mess isn't created from that. <laughs> That's the hope. We're going to do it again. This time Lewis to the inside. Some contact into turn number one. Peterson backs out of it just in time, but he might send a message to Lewis. Now nah, he's just going to pass him. And Thorne's stuck on the outside whether he wants it or not. <laughs> he's like, can you guys cut me some slack here? Unreal racing here at the end of this one. They're going to do it again. We're going to go three wide. 
How many laps can they do this? I oh. think we're about to find out. Look at that. They're picture perfect, but it's going to be a squeeze out of turn two. Yeah, got to be careful. They're doing it as they should. Some talented racers here making it work in a very tight pack with Cody Kimley now in the mix to the inside of the three wide. This Peterson's going to try to watch up into Lewis. This is Irwindale racing at Kern. What are we watching right now? I love it. No, this is it. I'm telling you, some of these drivers, I think, are starting to discover some extra grooves out here. And they've made it work. Once again, Thorne washes up. He just cannot get his car to get in front of some of these. Once he has that clearance, even for the previous second, it's like his car just does not want to come down the track. Still three wide. <laughs> They're still three Unbelievable. wide. Unbelievable. we got nine laps to go. Lenny White well in the lead. <laughs> Philpott with the bumper. He's got that Stockton bumper going. <laughs> Love it. And this is the kind of racing that we look to expect all year long with the ZMAX Car Tour West. Still three wide. Unbelievable. I am standing up not only because I have to, but because I want to. <laughs> That's right, now, Philpott. <laughs> Once again, slipping into it. There's still three wide. Lewis in the middle. Into turns number one, still three wide. <laughs> Feel fine. Now, now you ask, where do you go or how do you move up? At this point, I don't know the answer. No, neither do I. Oh, Lewis clears himself in front of Philpot and gets away with it. Still side by side, at least. Now we're going to go for three wide again. <laughs> Lewis going to stuff it in the middle, possibly. This is where all the action is at right now. Your top five or six cars, they've spread out a bit, but the racing with five Ooh. laps to go, this is what to watch. They were door slamming there on the back straightaway. Thorne's still loose. He's been hanging on to that eight car here tonight. All right, let's go three wide again. <laughs> Philpott, not wasting any time. Why not? He sees you. Do it again, Philpott gets into Thorne, trouble down the back straightaway. And big hit there from the 15, the 88 caught Landon Lewis. We got a wheel rolling into turn number three. You can't say that you didn't see it coming, but for the amount of laps that they got away with it, that was some incredible racing. We got a wheel that's rolling into the pit area. Heavy damage we're seeing here. So hopefully uh, everyone in the pit area well aware of what's coming. And they're going to get that wheel woed up. Good thing because that fire truck was going to hit it no matter what. I think I thought that's what he was going for. Now we have, let's see back here. The back straightaway is a mess right now. Phil Pot down on the inside wall. Derek Thorne tried to drive away, couldn't do it, and you see the 15 torn up of Landon Lewis right there facing oncoming traffic in the lanes. Man, I thought I thought we were going to get get to the end with this. I thought we were going to make it. That was just too phenomenal. For too long, though. Let's take a look to see what happened. So taking a look here at the replay on trackvision.tv, powered by Low Budget TV, and just finally ran out of room. Yep. It was so good. Oh, man. Oh, what a hit there by the inside. Not only Landon Lewis, but Philpott with a huge slam. Just want to relate to everybody that we just got word all drivers are okay. The pace car is off. Four laps to go. Who's it going to be? We're green. Lenny White had a great restart. Zampa tried to get to the outside, but not able to get there. Lenny White clears for the lead out of turn number two. Just almost like predicted or expected, but Zampa, he's got the bumper, and he might need to use it. And he just might. We talked about it. He's going to get to the inside, and in turn number one, Lenny White has contact. Is he going to save it? How did he, he does. save it? How did he save it? Huddleston to the inside in the battle for a second, but Dylan Zampa has taken the lead with three laps to go. How? Unbelievable. What a highlight race so far. Huddleston working Lenny White 
for the second. More contact. Lenny White's going to get turned into turn number one. And he's going to get strained out. How? We're still green. We're racing. We're still green, but man, do we have a huge glob of cars heading into turn number three right now. Taking, off the pace. Taking the white flag is Dylan Zampa in the 92. Cars smoking. Tires smoking. Are these cars going to make it back to the line? Out to the lead, the 92 of Dylan Zampa. And the debut, the inaugural event, the 92 of Dylan Zampa comes out of turn four and he will win the first ever Z-Max Cars Tour West main event. Cars smoking, crossing the line. Wow. What a race. I don't think we're going <laughs> to... There might not be any happy Harvicks in the pits. <laughs> Here tonight. Oh my gosh. It was, I don't know how, I, twice, three times, four yeah. times. I don't know how we didn't crash on those last few restarts. And we've talked about it. Things have been aggressive. We've seen stuff happen between Lenny White and Dylan Zampa. We know that there's, you know, there's history, right? I don't think that, I think Zampa got his nose to the inside and knew if he was going to do anything. Let's see. Let's see. The 51's going to roll up. And. A little sign language, I'm sure. Gloves are coming off. Ho, ho, ho. Might be a little more than uh, sign language. Here we are, the first Cars Tour West race in victory lane on the last lap. Dylan Zampa. Holy cow, man. What the heck was that, dude? Got a little crazy over here in three and four, man. What the heck? Yeah, you know, uh, you just got to hand it off to my crew. They worked really hard. And, you know, I just, I just appreciate everybody on my crew for working really hard. You know, we worked really hard, and um, we were struggling with drive off, and, and I, I really was just trying to, to figure out what I could get with drive off. And, you know, I just had to get a restart of my lifetime. And, you know, I, I got to his outside, and, and he, you know, we just ran hard. I mean, that's kind of what I felt like we ran. We ran hard. You know, he tried to pinch me, and I was there. So, you know, it's just racing at that point. So, caught, caught a couple donuts, but I got to hand it off to my crew, my dad, Joe, Jason Fensler up in the top. You know, without any, without them, I, I wouldn't be here right now. Well, let me tell you, Dylan, I, I mean, Logan, this is absolutely no joke. 100 lap, Cars Tour West, Z-Max, El Bandito Tequila, Kevin Harvick's racetrack. This is a big deal, kid. Big, big deal. Yeah, you know, um, I'm kind of speechless right now. You know, I never thought I'd be in this position right now, r running that Kevin Harvick's raceway and running in the Z-Max tour. So, um, once again, I just got to hand it off to my crew and my sponsors, uh, Anderson Logan, Valley Fabrication, Hill Metal Fab, uh, Kawiki Drive Development Program, General Metal Fab, J-Squared Performance. Um, just everyone that's on board, man, I just couldn't do it without them.